Alright Tim, so our next one that we're going to cover is the basic figure 4 or Americana from the mount. Right? So um, remembering that the figure 4s can be upwards or downwards and the upward one is generally called the Americana style figure 4. Right? Uh, usually we use this when our partner's guard is up underneath the mount position so you could be striking or they could just have their elbows in trying to stop you from isolating an arm. Right? The key principles we want to work on here is that the figure 4 works really well over time. Don't rush it too much. I want to use gravity to burn their shoulder out. So I'm locking my arms out here, one hand on the elbow and one hand on the forearm on the wrist end. All right? Elbows locked out super straight and I just lean on that arm. My partner's real strong, so if I try to push with my arms and he pulls it back in, he's going to be really strong here. All right? So I need to make sure that I've framed back, shoulders back, arms down, and I just push that towards the mat using gravity. Once it hits the floor, my wrist controlling hand the elbow will come down beside his ear, and that's stopping him getting his hand back to his head. Right? So I'm gonna ooh, sorry, create a little wedge in that space with my forearm. My elbow controlling hand is gonna come underneath the elbow and it's gonna hold on to my own wrist. Right? And then gonna take his hand along the floor, sort of painting the back of the ground with his hand, to take his shoulder through a range of movement that it's not comfortable in. Right? So from my figure four position, I'm controlling my own wrist, and then I start to paint the floor with his hand till he taps. Right. So let's have another run through. Controlling the elbow and the wrist, leaning forward, elbow to the mat, wedging in front of his head, hand comes behind the elbow and it holds onto my own arm, and then I complete the figure four, running his hand across the mat. Some stuff that we talked about before that applies here as well, is you don't want your wrist to be curved this way. Make sure you straighten your arms out. That's going to lock the figure four into place a little bit stronger. Some other things that are common problems that I've seen here um, in my morning classes the last couple of weeks was that people weren't pushing on the elbow. So uh, just highlight this here for you guys. But if your hands push too high up on the forearm, it creates like this rotation in his arm, but it fails to separate it from his chest. There's so much like given this movement here. He's quite flexible doing this, right? So. It becomes easy for him to defend once he holds the hand here. I can't push it down any further. But one thing that will really separate this from the body is when you push at the elbow end. And he can, you can resist him. When he's resisting on here, he can't stop that. But when he's resisting here, he can. Right? So that hand placement is quite important for how you separate the arms. Then make sure you're locking in nice and strong at this point. The other key common problem is as you get to this stage here of the technique, is that your hands are actually trapped and your partner will try and roll you. So be prepared to kick your weight out, great find the legs as needed so you can stay attached while you finish the rest of the movement. Right. So that was our basic Americana or figure four from the mount. Right. So, so hands to the front, yep. Lock your shoulders up, elbows up. Yeah, nice. Uh, so hand stays on the wrist yep. and elbow to the side. Uh, so don't let me get this back. Good. Alright, we just do a slightly different angle for your top. Through the keyhole, grabbing your own hand, and then rotate, and finish. Yeah. Awesome work, Tim.